Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Guy behind the counter? Gotta suppose that's him. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. You may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other people. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, would please to move along, sir. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Man, sucks he didn't talk. Pity he didn't want to talk. Might have known something. Goddamn asthma. Can't breathe when it rains. Hmm. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Don't ah, fucking try on. anything. Now, really? Open the register, you dumb fuck! Put the money on the counter! Shit, are you deaf or what? Uh, are you gonna open that fucking register or not? Uh, no. oh, left in the car. The right to steal that money from me. Gotta think of something else. Very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. He hasn't seen me yet. What did you say? Still got a chance. You're out of your fucking mind, man! See if I can sneak up on it, him. I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now! Shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. Come on. I ask for to leave before it is too late. Oh my God! Christ, goddamn <laughs> really? <laughs> Open the register. Don't make me fucking kill you. This game is trying to kill me, man. No, sir. That I cannot do. Come on, he's gonna Holy shoot. Man, I ain't joking. I swear to God, man, I'll blow your fucking brains out. Fuck! No, ah, uh, come Stop. on. Ah, I missed it. Don't Shit. move. Hands up. Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Uh. Uh. Help. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Uh. Uh, uh, my name's okay. Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. We're getting there. We're getting there. What's... Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. I got a little girl. Her name is Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself, what would happen to her if things go wrong? Oh my god, what next? What next? Drop the weapon. Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? 
Come on, bro. Take it. Come on. Just go home, bro. Your girl's waiting for you. Thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. Well, this I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Morikami. Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. What was that, a lizard or something? Did not help me to save Reza. But maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Yo, that was Mr. intense. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. Thought that dude was gonna shoot him. <laughs> Man. Glad we got through that. Nice place. Two forty seven AM. Always the same time. Always the same time for what? Goddamn insomnia. Oh, I see. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. I shouldn't take those damn pills again. If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. You think so? Oh. Uh, drink. A hot drink is what I need. up with that okay that was kind of creepy a hot shower that'll create the magic of sleep <sighs> I 
Okay, someone is in here. I, uh, I swear I heard something. Good job, Madison. I think you're starting to lose it. That was definitely a noise. I really need sleep. How hard can it be to fall asleep? No. Can't go that way. Uh, maybe I'll go to bed and give the sleep thing one more shot. What's back here? Anything? <gasps> okay. Who's there? I swear that shadow just moved. It's freaking me out. Girl, get a grip. The door's locked tight, and you're home alone. What is there else to do? Do I have to take a shower or something? Oh god, that's probably not a good choice. No, put that down. That ain't gonna help us sleep. Is that a door? No. What's back here? Interesting bathroom going. I'll change cameras. Didn't she say not to take the pills? <laughs> oh, that's not good. Okay. 
Ah, well, that's just great. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna have to censor this. Wow, that was the quickest shower ever. Okay. I think I'm starting to be seriously scared. The fridge door. I'm sure I closed it. Oh, come on, it, it couldn't have just opened on its own. Look, going without sleep is driving me crazy. Get up, close the fridge door, go to bed, simple. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. Come on, there's no time the for that. Door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Uh, they must have got in while I was asleep. Should I go? F no. I, I must get to the door. I get out of here. Wow. Come on, come on, come on. I want no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, come on, there's a second one. I wasn't paying attention. Take on the front. Nice. Oh, what the heck? Do am I supposed to press both? Oh, crap. That's not good. Okay, now what? Oh no, come on, come on! Ah! Oh my god. Was that a dream? Oh my god. Wow.
I seriously thought I died right there. <laughs> I was like, I got most of them. I got most of the buns right. There's like no way I should have died. <laughs> oh man. I was good. I like that. Guess we're back to him. Ethan. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Such a strange letter. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. It looks like the ticket to a locker. What does it mean? Some sort of fairy tale? This angel on the ticket, I'm sure I've seen it somewhere before. I think I know where this ticket comes from. The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I have never done origami in my life. Someone sent me that letter for a reason. Yeah. Goddamn reporters! They've been camped outside my house all day. What did I do with Sean? I, I must have done something, but I just can't remember. Fuck. So many people out there. I could go through the neighbor's garden and avoid all the press. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Don't go out. If I go outside, they'll jump me and hassle me with their questions. I, I, I can't do it. That letter might be linked to Sean's disappearance. I need to show it to the police. I'm the origami killer. I black out, and then the murdering starts. I know it's me. You've never done origami in your life, so how, how could it be you? I couldn't have hurt him. I love him. I love him with all my heart, but what in God's name did I do when he was on the carousel? I'd give anything to know where Sean is now. Do I get in the car? Or do I just walk away? No? Oh God, they're gonna see me.
the train station. Come on, Ethan, don't block out on me right now. Gonna, gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Oh, because it brings back that day, doesn't it? No time to waste. I need to find out what's in that locker. Come on, Ethan, you can do it. I, I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. It's okay, man. We can do it. What is that? Oh, L1. <laughs> Jeez. Ethan. It's like you're choking yourself. Creepy, like they're just all falling down as soon as I touch them. Where were we? The balloon! Gotta get the balloon! He's right there. What the? Where do you go? Oh. Jason! Dad! Jason! Dad! Jason! 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 Dad's here, son! You gotta be kidding. This is driving me crazy! The balloon! Gotta get the balloon! Come on, he's like right there. Jason. It's Jason. He's there. He's right there. This time I'll save him. Where do you go now? Where is he? What? The guy's like, what the fuck are you doing? I made it. I made it. I managed to get through the goddamn crowd. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. Do I just go in? Can I just... Will it set up the alarm off? No? Uh... Line 18, box number 3. Line 18, box number 3. Okay, got it. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. Okay, line 18, 18, 18, 13, 17, 16, 5, 19. Is it back here? 19, 19, 18, 18. What was the thing again? X. Line 18, box number 3. Box number 3. Well, it's right here, right? Yeah, it's right here.
is that box it's the same box we saw at that store The exact same one. Picture of the shoe and number on it. Shoebox. What's the connection with Sean's disappearance? I took a room in the first motel I saw. The box from the locker. What am I going to find inside? Am I the one who who put this box in the locker? I don't remember. Nah, I don't think it's, it must have been Sean. Gotta open it and find out what's inside. Cause he had that box, so so it has to be him. Alright, let's take a look at that box. There's probably some origamis in there or something. Was that gun there the whole time? Three, two, camera, gun, one. Uh. Probably shouldn't have touched them. Now I've got my fingerprints all over it. He, he prepared to shoot your car. Did you see it? Your car in your parking lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Lot 4988 Roosevelt Avenue. I uh, probably should write that down. Yeah. I should probably write that down just in case. Uh, give me a sec here. Joe's garage and parking. All right. Hell. Is that Sean? Sean. Are you prepared to go to save someone you love? <laughs> if 
Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Five origami figures. Oh, is that what the numbers are down there? Okay, we just grab number one, right? Yo, this is getting crazy. Uh, what is this? I should have checked the slots. Damn it. I always forget to do that. Oh, it's, it's back to Norman Jaden. I like this guy. It's pretty cool. The killer is white. Age between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Continue, mm -hmm. Jaden. Mm -hmm. Uh, to your profile. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment? I really hate that guy. About 10 square miles. <laughs> oh, great. There must be 10,000 people living in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Mm -hmm. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, sure. Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I came here to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your Fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. It's three days.
Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already been questioned, and he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Yeah, dude, come on. <laughs> okay. There is now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm we don't sure have a warrant. That's entirely legal. Yeah. <laughs> Call the cops. <laughs> Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. Very religious. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. <clears throat> There's so many crosses in here. Holy Bible. What is that? Old Testament. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. The guys taking a break from reality hold up here in this crazy apartment. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. It's stifling in here. Those windows have the walls are covered with writing. Quotations from the Bible. Hmm. Is there anything in here? Oh my gosh. Shit ton of pills. Holy crap. He may not be a killer, but he's probably a junkie or something. You don't even check the room. You t oh, it's a bathroom, uh, of course. More pills. Damn. He's definitely a junkie. Or at least a drug dealer or something. Damn, dude. Wash your dishes, bro. Shit's nasty. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing here? Ooh. Jane, turn around. Oh, there you go. Okay. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Nathaniel. Do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Really? Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? 
The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. End of the world? Bro. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Oh, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What, Nathaniel? What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! He Blake, told you to go and find that doing? kid in the park! The voices tormented you all night long! You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to I make I guess him Blake's stop. trying to break you, you but what good is a confession if he does? Him. Isn't that right? That's oh. enough! Leave him no. alone! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father oh. in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Uh, uh, uh. You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for Antichrist that. Antichrist my ass! Get that gun out of my face! <sighs> calm down. Keep calm. Everything is gonna be fine, Nathaniel. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power! Damn, I can't I'm read here that. To help you, Nathaniel, to give rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Christ, all powerful, defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of His empire, and may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Duh, he's gonna do it. I... Uh, I shot him. <laughs> yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I... I... I'm pretty sure I could have done all that without killing him, but... I, I don't know how much longer I could have gone... And him not, you know shooting at him I don't know I I think I could have just saved him somehow <laughs>